listeners, this is Dave Criddle here, reporting very early in the morning from the Criddle household, and I'm going to do my first uh, Homemade Hit Show video podcast I'm down here in my basement studio. I'll uh, do a full studio to you, tour for you some point later. It's a bit of a mess. My keyboard's lent out and I want to get out all my guitars and stuff, but I'll do that later. But um, I'm going to do a video podcast about controlling those big, boomy, uh, low E bass notes. Uh, there have been a few posts out on the forum asking how to get control of those sounds and how uh, sometimes hitting that low E can sound kind of rough. So I'm going to go through a few techniques that I use for controlling the open E sound. Okay, now I've got my view of my bass here. And uh, one thing you can do to control the sound is uh, just how you strike the bass note. So, uh, you know, you don't really want to go about it wildly necessarily. You want to just, um, instead of just smacking the bass like... That might be the uh, rock and roll Mike Wick way of doing things, but if you want that more controlled sound and, and to avoid the rattliness, if that's just kind of your goal, then uh, one way to do that is rather than striking the strings with your finger, you can put your finger on the string and pull off more gently for a more controlled sound. The other thing that can make a difference is where you pull off. Do you pull off by the bridge or but by the uh, middle pickup? And you can kind of vary where you're doing it to sort of get different. You get sort of a warmer feel up here, and you get a tighter feel down here. And uh, so that's where you get your more percussive sound down down in this range. Um, so that's one thing is just how you strike the string. Whether you, you kind of grab it and let go quickly, or whether you put your finger on it and pull off. Now the other way you can control the sound is by muting. If I want to get a tighter sound, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll pull it off with my left hand. Let me back up so you can see my left hand a little bit. But I'll pull off the note and then I'll mute it with my left hand. And a lot of you get you get a natural uh, mute when you're playing with your left hand and you got a fingered note because you're gonna play the note and then you're gonna let go when you're done. So you play and you let go and keep your finger on the string to to mute that note. But then when you're playing the open string, you got to remember you got to mute it with your left hand. So the other thing I'll sometimes do is not even use my left hand, and I'll actually mute with play and mute with my right hand. So I'll play a note and then I'll go back and mute it with my finger again. And sometimes I can do it with two fingers. So I'm muting, you know, playing with my left finger, my index finger, muting with my riddle, and then playing my middle, muting with my index. As you can hear, I'm getting some harmonics down there when I do that. But uh, so that's one other thing you can do is you can play and then mute with your both with your right hand. Um, now the other thing I talked about on the forum was playing with a pick. Um, another thing I'll do is I'll lay my palm down on the uh, right around the bridge and I'll play um, with my palm down on the strings and it gives a really cool kind of Paul McCartney-ish um, muted sound. want to do that right down by the bridge though. So that's another cool method for uh, um, getting a different sound and sort of controlling those low notes. And you know, down on the low E, you don't really have any problems with that note getting out of control. But it's all about, I think it's really a lot, controlling those big rattles out of the low E. You know, this bass is set up pretty well and it doesn't, you know, it, it takes a lot to make it rattle. So, and some basses definitely rattle more than others. And a lot of times that, as Mike Wick says, that rattle can be a good thing in a rock and roll kind of sound. And, um, but you can learn to control it with technique by doing the, uh, putting your hands on there and muting with your palm, like I just said. So uh, there's a few techniques for bass for you. Mm -hmm.